Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanelungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. We post reaction videos on this channel. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it for you guys. A big shout out to the people that keep on uh, subscribing to our channel and have already subscribed thank you for subscribing liking commenting sharing you guys are the best i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed big shout out to the person that suggested this and yeah so without wasting time let's get into the video by the way we're going to be reacting to what is islam so without wasting time let's get into the video what is islam the usual answer to this question involves saying something like, well, Muslims believe that Islam was revealed over 1,400 years ago in Mecca, Arabia, through a man called Muhammad. Now, that answer is known virtually by everyone. And I want to approach the question in a slightly different way through the words of Fitzjop Shuon in his classic work, Understanding Islam. He has a much more philosophical uh, approach to the subject and I want to share his definition of what Islam is. He says, Islam is the meeting between God as such and man as such. God as such, that is to say God envisaged, not as he manifested himself in a particular way at a particular time, but independently of history and inasmuch as he is what he is and also as he creates and reveals by his nature. Man as such, that is to say, man envisaged not as a fallen being uh, needing a miracle to save him, but as man, a theomorphic being endowed with an intelligence capable of conceiving of the absolute and with a will capable of choosing what leads to the absolute. To say God it is also to say being creating, revealing. In other words, it is to say reality, manifestation, reintegration. To say man is to say theomorphism, transcendent intelligence and free will. These are, in our meaning, the premises of the Islamic perspective, those which explain its every application and must never be lost sight of by anyone wanting to understand any particular aspect of Islam. Man thus appears a priori as, as a dual receptacle made for the absolute with a capital A and Islam comes to fill that receptacle first with the truth of the absolute and secondly with the law of the absolute. Islam then is in essence a truth and a law or the truth and the law. The former answering to the intelligence and the latter to the will. It is thus that Islam sets out to abolish both uncertainty and hesitation and fortiori both error and sin. Error in holding that the absolute is not or that it is relative or that there are two absolutes or that the relative is absolute. Sin places these errors on the level of the will or of action. These two doctrines of the absolute and of man are respectively to be found in the two testimonies of the Islamic faith. The first, la ilaha illallah, concerning God, and the second, Muhammadun Rasulullah, concerning the Prophet. The idea of predestination, so strongly marked in Islam, does not do away with the idea of freedom. Man is, the, man is subject to predestination because he is not God, but he is free because he is made in the image of God. God alone is absolute freedom, but human freedom, despite its relativity, in the sense that it is relatively absolute, is not something other than freedom any more than a feeble light is something other than light. To deny predestination would amount to maintaining that God does not know events in advance, so to speak, and so is not omniscient. To sum up, 
Islam confronts what is immutable in God with what is permanent in man. For exoteric Christianity, man is a priori will, or more exactly, he is will corrupted. Clearly the intelligence is not denied, but it is taken into consideration only as an aspect of will. Man is will, and in man will is intelligent. When the will is corrupted, so also is the intelligence corrupted, in the sense that in no way could it, could it set the will to rights. Therefore a divine intervention is needed, the sacrament. In the case of Islam, where man is considered as the intelligence, and intelligence comes before will, it is in the content or direction of the intelligence which has sacramental efficiency. Whoever accepts that the transcendent absolute alone is absolute and transcendent draws from this its consequences for the will uh, and is saved. The testimony of faith, the Shahada, determines the intelligence and the Islamic law, the Sharia, determines the will. Now, I could go on. This book is full of the most extraordinary, penetrating theological, psychological insights into the nature of faith itself and, and of, in its Christian expression as well. Um, now, I don't necessarily agree with everything that uh, the writer states, but uh, he is certainly uh, worth reading for a very uh, different and refreshing perspective on the nature of Islam. Until next time love this video and the fact that not everyone is going to agree with everything that you believe in or everything that's written in the books but he's still uh reading the definition of what the religion really is and is not really um uh, saying but i think it's this he's reading it from someone's point of view it's not all about um, someone's point of view, allowing yourself to learn from others as well. You get a different perspective, like he said. You really get a different insight, insight concerning many matters if you open yourself to educating yourself through books, through people, through different uh, sources of material out there. I really loved um, the definition of this and would love to hear other people's definitions as well that are not just all about criticizing and tarnishing and just embracing the information that they're getting i hope you understand what i'm saying and if you have comments feel free to comment in the comment section below if there's something that you want us to react to let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to do it and a very big shout out to the person that suggested this video and yeah Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next reaction video.